Assalamu alaikum, this is Mr. Islam Yusuf. Our lesson today about the place value. The first point in our lesson today about the digit. What is the meaning of a digit? A digit is a symbol that's used to write a whole number. So suppose that we have a number like 124. This number is formed from three digits. One, two, and three. The first digit that we have here, which is four. The second, which is two. And the third, which is one. So for each digit, we can write only one whole number. Each digit has a place, this place defined by the place value. From the place value, we can find the value of a number. Like we can say that the first place that we have here, which is once. So the place value of four, which is once. The second number, which is tens. The third number, which is hundred. From the place value, we can find the value of a number. So we define the value of the number according to its place value. So with the value of 4 now, we have 4 in 1's place. So to find its value, it will be 4 times 1. The value of 2 because it's in 10's place, so it will be 2 times 10, which equals 220. The value of 1 because it lies at the 100th place, so it will be 1 times 100, which equals to 100. So the value of the number depends on its place value. For any number, we can divide it into periods. Each period is formed from three digits, ones, tens, and hundred. So the first period that we have here, which is defined by the ones period. The second period that we have, which is defined by the thousand period. The period is important to know the place value and the value of each number. And also we use the period to read the number. So to read this number at the first, we need to divide it into period. So to divide it into period, we use one, two, three, and the put comma. The first period defined by the ones period. Then one, two, three, we have three digits, it means we have one period, this period is thousand period. The place value of the first number which is ones, the second which is tens, the third which is hundred. To find the value of the fourth number, this number lies on the thousand period. So this place value will be thousand. Eight here lies at ten thousand place. So we read the place value which is tens, then read the name of the period. So we start reading the place of the digit, then the name of the period. So we can say that 10,000. One lies at the 100,000. By this way, we can read the number. Then we can say that 184,000. It's depend on the name of the period. And 800. As we said before, to find the value of the digit, it's depend on its place value. So zero lies at the one's place. So it will be zero times one, which equals zero. Zero, the second one, lies at the tenth place, so it would be zero times ten. Zero times any number equals zero. From that we can say that the value of zero at any place equals zero. Eight lies at the hundredth place, so we can say that it will be eight times one hundred, which equals eight hundred. Four lies at the thousandth place, so we can say that four times one thousand, which equals four thousand. You will find here that four lies at the ones, but once in the thousand period. Any number at the ones defined by the name of its period. So zero here lies at the ones in the ones period. So we can say that the place value of zero is ones. But four lies at the ones in the thousand period. So the place value of four is thousand. Eight lies at the ten thousand. So we find its value, it will be eight multiplied by ten thousand, which equals eighty thousand. One lies at the hundred thousand, so to find its value, it will be one multiplied by the one hundred thousand, which equals one hundred thousand. So with an easy way, we can find the value from the number. Just write the digit without any change. Count how many digits on the right, then replace it with zero. So suppose that we have four, so we write four without any change. How many digits are the right? One, two, three. So we write three zeros. So the value of four will be 4,000. In this problem, we need to use the place value chart to solve. So the number that we have now is formed from seven digits. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Before we start solving, we need to divide the number into periods. So divide into period, each period is formed from three digits. One, two, three, then put comma. One, two, three, then we have a comma. The first period that we have defined by ones. The second by thousand. The third, which is million. So the place value of zero is ones. The place value of zero will be tens. 
The place value of two is hundreds. Nine in thousand place. One in ten thousand place. Four is hundred thousand place. Two lies at the once in the million period, so we can say that the place value of two is million. The digit which lies at the hundred place, its value is which digit lies in the hundred place? The number in the hundred, which is two. So two lies at the hundred place because it lies at the hundred, so its value will be. 200. We write 2 without any change. Count how many digits are the right, then we replace it with 0. If this digit is moved to the 1000, if you write 2 in 1000 place, so its value will be 2000. But if you move the digit in 10,000 place, its value will be 20,000. If you move it in 100,000 place, its value will be 200,000. So the value of the same digit depend on its place value. Look at the number that we have now. When the number in 100, its value will be 200. The same number in 1000, its value is 2000. The same in 10,000, its value is 20,000. In 100,000, it will be 200,000. If you write the same digit in million, it will be 2 million. You will find that in each time, we will multiply it by 10. Multiplying by 10. It means when you move to the left, the number will be 10 times more. But if you move to the right, the number will be 10 times less. What is the meaning of this point? If you write 2 here, its value will be 2000. But 2 in this place, it will be 200. You are moving to the left. It means it will be 10 times more. But if you are moving to the right, it will be 10 times less. So by moving to the left, it will be 10 times more. Moving to the right, it will be 10 times less. In this problem, we need to write the place value and the value of each underlined digit. The digit that we have now, which is 4. 4 lies at the 1's place. So it's a place value at the 1's. And its value will be 4. Any number lies at the 1's place, its value will be the same. The value of 0 at any place equals 0. Now we have 5. To know the place value, we have to define the period. 5 now lies in the 1000 period. The second digit, which is 10, so it will be 10 in the 1000 period, so it will be 10,000. If 5 written in the 10,000 place, its value would be 50,000. If that's written in 1000, it would be 5,000. 10,000, it will be 50,000. 5 and 100,000, it will be 500,000. 8 now at the first period, it will be 1's, 10's, and 100. So it will be in the 100 place. 8 and 100 place, its value will be 800. Now we have 7. 7 at the second period, which is 1,000. So we can say that 1's, 10's, and 100. So it will be 10 in 1,000 place, which is 10,000. Its value will be 70,000. 7 in 1,000 place is 7,000. 7 in 10,000, it will be 70,000. 7 in 100,000, it will be 700,000. Now we have 0. 0 lies at the first period, which is 1's, so we can say that it will be 1's, 10's, and 100. It lies at the 10's and 1's place. So its value will be 10. 0. The value of 0 at any place equals 0. Now we have 8. 8 lies at the second period. The first period is 1, the second in 1,000, and it lies at the 100 place, so it will be 100,000 place. Its value will be 800,000. Now we have 7. 7 lies at the million period, and it lies at the ones, so its place value would be million. And its value would be 7 million.